Holy! <laughs> Those trees came up quick. <laughs> yeah, they did. Is the Ranger Kinetic the future of side-by-sides? Aaron, pop quiz. What is the fastest utility side-by-side -side on sale right now? I'll give you a hint. It's not the Ranger XD 1500. It's not the four-cylinder Kawasaki Ridge, nor is it the tried-and-true Can-Am Defender. Any guesses? Uh, is it this? Uh, yeah, it's the Ranger Kinetic. Isn't it electric? It is electric, but before you click away, this is not some Tesla version of a side-by-side. -side. This is a Ranger first, electric second, and it's one of the most capable utility machines on the market. We're gonna tell you all about it. Hold up, hold up. Yep. I just spent a lot of time mm -hmm. in the Polaris Ranger XD1500. That is a three-quarter ton side-by-side -side with 110 horsepower in line three. Yeah, and that's an amazing rig. You know what also has 110 horsepower? This. And more important than that horsepower number, it has 140 pound-feet of torque. And all of that comes on the instant you touch the accelerator. You can bet your tulips the XD1500 can't match that number. How much did you say? 140 pound feet. But mm. how much torque does a Ranger XP1000 make? Yeah, I'm glad you it's 62. <laughs> <laughs> Do you uh, need 140 uh -huh. pound feet in a utility rig? Okay, number one, how dare you? Well, and number two, yes and no, right? The more power you have, the easier it is on the machine if you're doing any sort of serious work. Fair. You know, tow capacities are capacities for a reason. Mm -hmm. If you have a 2,500 pound towing capacity and you're towing 2,500 pounds, you're using the absolute max. Right. That's gonna be hard on a machine. You've got more power, it's gonna be easier on the drivetrain, easier on you, you're not gonna be beating yourself up, you're not gonna be beating the rig up. So it's powerful. Uh -huh. I don't think that's enough to make it the future of side-by-sides. All right, normally you would be right. However, we need to talk about driveline. Okay. Have you ever had an engine apart, Aaron? You ever been in the bits? Yeah. There are one billion pieces inside of an mm -hmm. engine, and a failure on any one of them brings you to a grinding halt. You've got pistons, you've got valves, you've got valve springs, you've got valve keepers, all of them thrashing around, all of them making mm -hmm. noise and heat, all of them have to be taken care of. This is just an electric motor. There's way fewer pieces inside this machine. What about like a belt? I'm glad you asked about transmission. This is the transmission out of the Polaris sling shot, the road going rig. So this is a cog belt transmission. It's not the usual CVT. When it comes to a tool, simple is always better. Yep, of course. Polaris says over the course of five years, this rig will save you $3,500 on maintenance alone. 3,500 bucks? 3,500 bucks, and that's not counting fuel. Oh, well, yeah, because it's electric. It, yeah, plug you it, just plug it into your it. wall. All right. So we need to get back to that transmission okay. for just a second. Like there's all sorts of cleverness wrapped up in this thing. Right. I think one of the most interesting things to me is that there is no reverse gear in the transmission. What? Yeah, okay, so in order to make this thing go into reverse, there's a little switch on the shifter, okay? Okay. And all that does is reverse the polarity of the motor. So in forward, the motor spins this way, and in reverse, it spins this way and backs the rig up. Okay, that's actually pretty clever. But I got another beef. Politics of plugging in your side yeah. by side, put aside. Yeah, yeah. What about range? Range is the mm. whole thing, right? Yeah. So like, okay, maybe it's got more power, but that power is useless if it's dead. So this is the 29.8 kilowatt hour rig. It's the smaller of the two batteries. It's the cheaper rig in okay. general. You're looking at about 40 miles of range topped up. Now, if you step up to the bigger battery pack in the Ultimate, that gives you a range of 80 miles, which is pretty good, especially here on the East Coast. Most of us are not spending 100 miles in your Ranger in a day. And that's good enough for ripping out chores or bopping out to the tree stand. And speaking of the tree stand, this thing is dead quiet. It's crazy, I mean, right? I love side-by-sides, but most of them, they sound like a weed eater gargling bolts. And this is just... It's dead silent. It's, it's crazy. A, it feels right. like it's coasting. Yeah. Okay, so look, if you'd never seen a side-by-side -side mm -hmm. before and you walked into a dealer and the salesman said, okay, this one over here needs gas every 150 miles, it's loud, it smells bad, you gotta check the valves, you gotta change the oil, oh, and it's less powerful, oh, and it's slower in every way. This one here is dead silent, it's faster, and it has more than twice as much torque. Which one are you gonna buy? You're gonna buy this one. Great, every, this one. Every time. 80 miles of range is not great. No. However, batteries get better every year, they get cheaper every year. And it is only a matter of time before there's an electric side-by-side -side that can match internal combustion rigs mile for mile. And at that point, 
It's game over. But I got one more question. Yeah. How do you charge this thing? I'm so glad you asked. Do you need a wall charger? Do you need somebody to come out and rewire your whole shop? No, no. Oh. The inverter for this thing is in the rig. So you just plug it in and the rig figures it out. So if you've got a 110 volt outlet, you plug it in, there's a fancy little adapter for that. Rig figures that out. If you've got a 220 outlet, it'll figure that out. If you've got a level two charger, it'll figure that out. Drastically different times, right? So if you plug it into a regular 110 outlet, it takes about 19 hours to charge okay that's a long time yeah, yeah yeah but hey everybody's got 220 in your shop right you do yeah I do, yeah right sure plug that sucker in there suddenly it's nine hours that's overnight oh, okay level two charger that's three hours to top it off if you already have like a ford lightning or your wife drives a tesla or whatever you've probably got a level two charger already there you could stuck that sucker in while somebody else is out driving around and you're topped up okay so how much money are we talking what's this thing cost yeah well, they're not cheap this base 45 mile range premium is going to set you back 29.99 99. You want the 80 mile version? That's 37,499. <laughs> okay, so other than range, are there any differences between the base kinetic and the ultimate? Uh, yes and no. Capacity wise, no. They can both tow 2,500 pounds. Okay. You can put 1250 in the bed, which is insane. That's yeah. nearly an XD1500. <laughs> but you will get some nicety differences, right? Like this is a base, base rig. There is no winch, there's no roof, there's no rear view mirror, there's no stereo, there's no doors, there's nothing. Step up to the ultimate, you get a lot more stuff. Okay, that's all great and everything, but my baby, the XD1500 starts at $29,999. Yeah, uh, normally I would agree. The Ranger XD1500 is an amazing value at that price, but this thing does not let up on capability and Polaris sells every one of these rigs they can make. So what do you think? Do you think the Ranger Kinetic is the future of side-by-sides? I'm not convinced it's the future of side-by-sides, but I can definitely see how electrics fit into the side-by-side -side world. I mean, the power, the simplicity, how quiet they are. Like, yeah, there's a place for these for sure. Absolutely. And can you imagine this drive line in a razor? I want that. I want that. I want that. that. Bad. Zach, walk me through the charger. Yeah, all right. So this is what shows up. It comes with a nice zippered pouch. It's the main wall unit, pluggy guy. That's what plugs into the rig itself, right where the gas cap usually is. And then you get these okay. two adapters. That's for 110, like a regular wall outlet. Right. That's for 220, like for your welder, your dryer, something like that. Pick which one you need, plug it in, rig figures it out. Really? So that's it. It's that simple. That's it. There's no messing with anything on ride command. It, it figures it out. All right. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, feels like a ranger in here. Everything looks like a ranger. Yeah, because it is a ranger. There's nothing <sighs> to learn, really. Hey, got, it's on right now. It's on? It's on right now. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. So I could just... You could just take off right now. Wow. How's the shifter work? Yeah, it's just a regular shifter. Yeah, it's so just a ranger gear, shifter. You're in gear now. Oh, and here's your the switch you were talking yeah. about. So forward for forward, reverse, reverse, reverse. You've got a camera on even this base model. Oh, look. It's all the same regular storage. Do you same still have the storage. under? The yeah. Oh, still put a five gallon bucket under there. Mm -hmm. You don't really give up anything for the battery. You know, on a production vehicle, a production EV, yeah. typically you have way less storage because the battery has to go somewhere, but that's not the case with this. What's under the bed? Uh, the motor. So yeah, it's all sealed. Where yeah. You usually have a dipstick and all the rest of that. All you have is a coolant reservoir for the battery. So nothing under here to, uh, you, you could look at your bushings if you wanted to. Yeah, if you wanted to. Cool. All, all right, right. see how fast it is? Yeah, I want to see how fast it is. All right, we'll put it in not eco mode. All right. And just rock on it? Hit it. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> well, those trees came up quick. Yeah, they did. <laughs> oh, no! Holy! I can't, I need to not swear. <laughs> so, uh, uh, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yo, you know, yeah like, no, dude. That, I, I feel uh, like anybody who has any doubts about this rig, uh, you just have to spend five minutes in one. Not even. That, I've been in it for 30 seconds like, and I'm like, sold. Yeah, it just it, absolutely it rips. rips. It is so silly how fast it is. Like, like this is more fun than any other utility side-by-side -side period. And like, I know yeah. that's not why you buy a utility rig. No, but, like, but it helps. It, it helps. Certainly, it certainly if, helps. You got a little stressful day going on, just mm -hmm. jump in here and punch it once and it'll, yeah, or, you know, all your cares are gone. You get smoked while you're out hunting, just, you know, rip back to the cabin. Yeah, exactly. Know? It makes a great case for a sport machine with this powertrain in saying. it. That's what I'm saying. I want a so razor good. with this drive line so bad. Yeah, and if you've never driven an electric before, it's worth getting in here and just punching it once because it takes like weirdly a second or two for you to realize how fast you're going and then your brain can't catch up because you don't get the any kind of noise or whine or anything you, your stomach feels a little
little weird at first, and then you're like, oh. <laughs> it reminds me exactly of a roller coaster, right? Yeah. Because you yeah. get that feeling of like, oh, whoa, whoa we're yeah. going. Yeah. yeah, it's awesome. I like it. Well, let's see what else it's capable of. All right, we got some chore to do, so we're going to rip around in this thing a little bit. Hey, sweetie, how you doing? <laughs> what you doing, girl? <laughs> Check us out on utvdriver.com. We're over there five days a week with news, reviews, buyer's guides, all that fun stuff. We're also release new videos all the time, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Three, two, one. No! <laughs> no utility rig needs to be this fast. No, it doesn't. <laughs>